Hey guys, Gator Dave here. This is an introductory video to my channel. So first, first off, I just want to say thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing on this channel is a lot of painting tutorials. So step by step, um, how to paint your miniatures. So you could see what I'm doing and you could do it yourself at home on your own minis. You can also expect um, some different types of product reviews on actual figures themselves, uh, where we can go over the different types of scopes, the different poses that they're in, as well as their statistics in-game, card and stuff like that. I also wanna have a segment on um, concepts for different types of monsters and stuff like that that they could put in the game, uh, new figures and how they would work, probably be doing some different types of conceptual drawings um, for things like that, as well as also doing battle reports, um, in-game stuff like that. Okay, so like I said, don't want to get too much into it, but just know that a lot of great stuff is going to be coming. Just wanted to thank you guys for being here and checking it out. So as a special treat, I wanted to show you guys um, the project that I'm working on currently. So this is the Minions Sacral Vault from the Game Hordes, and we're going to take a closer look at this. Okay, so starting with the box, you can see that it's a big stone tower, and uh, inside it are a lot of souls and, and stuff like that. It's supposed to be like a harbinger of death. And uh, as you can see, there's two big albino alligators pushing it and another alligator on top doing like a live sacrifice uh, to get the vault going. It uses souls as uh, kind of a fuel. So if you check it out, I have a large base here that's pretty much completed, pretty much fully painted using earth and, and other tones like that. Lots of greens because it's going to be a swamp base. And in those open crevices, I'm going to be pouring some realistic water effects to get a real nice looking swamp base. We're also gonna be putting in some cattails, as well as lily pads, as you can see, to get a really naturalistic looking swamp. This was a, a, actually a deep base that I had gotten online at Secret Weapon Ms. Miniature, um, which I highly suggest if you're trying to do swamp bases, go with the deep bases. It's just a lot easier. You're gonna get a lot more water out of it. Okay, so, I also have the albino gator men that are going to be pushing the vault. I really tried to get a very naturalistic color with these guys. Um, I wanted them to look like real naturalistic, um, you know, albinos. So they're not done yet. They're, they're, this is a work in progress. So I've basically um, did the base coating. I've done some um, quick washes to them. And they're, as you can see, they're a really deep tan color and they need to come up further. So we're gonna kind of go from dark to light, so we need to make it more white, but also wanna mix in some fleshy white tones, definitely gonna go red around the eyes, um, and maybe even mix in a couple of blues. But I really like the way these guys are coming out. We move over here, you can see the warlock who's on top of the vault. And he's a dirty little dude, but uh, you can see he's got the severed head and the bone saw in his hand. He's got a bunch of bones on his, on his belt. And you can see I start, when I paint my bones, I start with that really dark, rotted bone color you see on like Indiana Jones movies. And I find that that's the best way to get them looking really realistic. Start really dark and work your way to light. Come pretty far on his back scales. As you can see on the back scales, instead of like the limer green on his, on his main scales, on his back plates, I go with more of a forest green and work my way to a mint. So, but he's got a long way to go too. Still need to do all the highlights and pull out all the details. But I love the sculpt. Love the sculpt across the board. Love the muscles on these dudes. Really awesome stuff. And uh, here it is, the actual vault, the Big Daddy vault. And uh, this thing is tremendous. This thing stands very tall. This thing's at least, I don't know, six inches tall, which is pretty big for a wargaming tabletop miniature. And uh, as you can see, I've layered it with, um, I want to say three to four different types of grays and I've actually like mixed each one of these grays myself and I've incorporated um, different types of green tones and purple tones to give it a really kind of dark magic voodoo look and uh, I think I think I've achieved that there's still quite a ways to go you can see all the details on this are immense alligator skulls human skulls candles there's the uh, the headless corpse on top that's being sacrificed and there's like a Little divots where the blood can run into those those sculptures of heads there. Great stuff. Really, really crazy sculpt. Really awesome. All right, guys. So that's pretty much our look at the Sacral Vault. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And also remember to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my painting or tutorial videos. 
And if you're so inclined, please head over to Patreon and become one of my patrons. You could donate $1 to $5. What I mean, whatever you see fit, whatever you think the information is worth to you, uh, whatever enjoyment you get out of it, you could do that by heading over to patreon.com slash Gator Dave. You could also follow me on Instagram where I post pictures um, daily, almost daily at least, um, at Gator Dave 89 And that's my Instagram. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're looking forward to more as I know I am. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Um, have a great day, guys. Gator Dave out.